So in this video, I'm going to talk about the topography of the neck. So the triangles I'm going to talk about in this video is located on two regions. You have uh, the lateral region and the anterior or medial region. So let's start with the lateral region. Um, as, I'm as I finish with one region, I'm going to um, show you on my 3D model of the uh, human simultaneously. So if we start with the trigonum homoclavicula here, uh, you can kind of see the borders already. This is the um, inferior uh, the inferior belly of the homohyoid muscle. And then you have the sternocleidomastoideus here and the clavicula. That's going to be the trigonum homoclavicula. And then the next triangle is going to be the homotrapezoideum. You have the one border is the trapezium muscle, and another border is the sternocleidomastoideus, and then you have the inferior border of homohyoid muscle again. So that's the two muscles. So if we go over to our guy here and hide the platysma. It's going to see some muscles. It's a little harder to see it on the actual human being, but you can kind of see it right here. Here you see a triangle, and this is the lower belly, supposed to be the lower belly here of the omohyoid uh, muscle, and the sternocleidomastoideus and the clavicula. And here you have another triangle that consists of the trapezium, the sternocleidomastoideus, and the uh, inferior belly of the um, homohyoid muscle. Alright, so that's the lateral region and then you go over to the anterior or medial region. Uh, we can start with the trigonum submandibula here. The trigonum submandibula consists of a basis, the base of the mandible, and then you have the um, anterior and inferior uh, I'm sorry, the posterior and anterior belly of uh, musculus digastricus. Right? So if we go back to our guy again, here is the anterior belly of the musculus digastricus and posterior belly of musculus digastricus, and our triangle is going to be here. That's the base of the mandible. Okay, so the next one is trigonum caroticum. Here is trigonum caroticum. And trigonum caroticum uh, is made out of musculus sternocleidomastoidei and the um, superior belly of homohyoideus and then the posterior belly of the digastricus. It's going to be behind this muscle here. Alright, so if we go back to our guy again, if we zoom out, it's going to be here. That's our triangle. It's called trigonum caroticus. All right, and then we have trigonum homotracheale. Uh, trigonum homotracheale consists of uh, two parts and a midline. So you have um, the vendor superior of homohyoideus here, and you also have the musculus sternocleidomastoidei at the midline. So that's our triangle right here. So if I'm going to try to show you it on our, on our 3D model again. Try to get a lateral view. So that's going to be our sternocleidomastoidei, right? And then we have the superior belly of the homohyoid and the midline. Those three together are going to form the trigonum homotracheale. So that's your tra uh, trachea right here. All right, and we go over to the trigonum submentale, which is our last triangle. Uh, it's located under the uh, mandible. And trigonum submentale uh, is gonna be consist of musculus digastricus vendor anterior, or the anterior belly of musculus digastricus on both sides, and the os hyoideum. So if I wanna try to show you it on my model again. It's going to be here, the anterior belly of uh, musculus digastricus on both sides 
and the uh, hyoid bone. So that's our triangle. So that was our topography of the neck and I hope that was helpful.